Hi guys, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, back to Daniel's uh, Tech World here. And in today's video, I want to demonstrate the green invoice uh, invoicing system. So green invoice is, uh, is one of the approved invoicing platforms one can use in Israel as a freelancer or a small business. And um, I'm just doing this video because it's a nice way to combine two interests of this new YouTube channel, one of which is technology, specifically Linux and, uh, and open source, and the other one of which is freelancing because I am a freelance business technology writer. Um, so this is, uh, this is Green Invoice and um, I've used a few um, of them. I like Green Invoice the best despite the fact that there's no <coughs> English, uh, English language translation or user interface but uh, it does a really nice job for basic bookkeeping. Uh, just remember that you do have to use one of these uh, tools if you are uh, if you're using digital um, accounting and you know there's really no reason that you shouldn't be doing stuff digitally uh, and not writing up paper-based receipts. Um, so you can go ahead and use something like Wave, which is a popular and otherwise popular invoicing platform. Uh, there is kind of a workaround. You can uh, use two in parallel if, if you double bookkeeping. Um, but to be honest with you, um, I wouldn't say that it's really worth it. Um, this green invoice can generate stuff in uh it can generate invoices and receipts in english so if you have international clients or your clients are abroad uh this uh this has a way you will not get stuff in hebrew to them um so that is quite good uh so basically what i'm going to show you here is firstly the sign up process i'm just going to create an account um i'm going to create an account uh using uh just a fake national id number because um I'm not going to provide my real one here. Um, so this is a sign-up screen, and this is the sandbox that Green Invoice have given me access to for this video. So it might look a little bit different um, when you're actually uh, signing up yourself. So quickly, uh, um, so you get a currently 30 free days of free trial without commitment. Uh, it just asks you for a few fields. I'm going to put my name in there. So I'm just going to create this uh, demo gmail address here and uh and i will um just for the purpose of of simplicity now miss pires hoots i'm just going to drag this guy over my trusty israel israeli id fake israeli id generator it's a uh, github uh, it's a github project by mr georgie boonin um this israeli id generator uh don't ask me uh what the what the intended use case was but it does seem to work uh so i'm just going to put this uh fake teodatsuhut here put in a password and then you have uh karati ve isharti etane ishimush ve et midiniot apratiut so this is just uh confirming that you agree to the tos terms of service that's the tane ishimush and the privacy policy of green invoice the second one is uh says here any rotsi le kabel divuri ashir le mail im khidushim et khunim vetipim latmaim so you don't actually need to uh, sign up for their, uh, their, you know, their email newsletter with tips for freelancers. Of course, you can if you want. Um, you actually can use this federated sign up here uh, with hits.futmahira uh, through Gmail or G Suite. Generally, I uh, try to I try to minimize the number of third party applications that um, have access to my uh, G Suite data in any in any guise whatsoever. So I'm just going to sign up this way uh, despite the fact that um, despite the fact that uh, it's uh, it's uh, sorry I've lost I'm, I'm using my other screen here so basically this you'll get a confirmation email and now it is saying uh, it is saying that I've already done this I I almost completed this process uh, previously and uh, I aborted it because I was just opening my Gmail so basically we can go to the Kvar uh, Rishumim button and I'm just going to show you here if I bring in this screen this is the uh, this is a confirmation process so after going through that registration form you'll get an email that says so just confirming to activate the account um, I'm just going to copy copy this link um, so that it's in the same in the same uh, session uh, so this is just is a Yofi and it gives your name and it just says in order to activate the account so bear with me for a second while I uh, while I go ahead and uh, swap that in. 
Welcome back. So I just gone ahead and uh, copied and pasted the confirmation link into my browser, and it said uh, it said Yuffie, Yuffie Daniel, and uh, now it has taken me to the registration screen over registration screen over here. So I'm just gonna open up a uh, Google Translate, and of course, um, please forgive me for any Hebrew mistakes uh, or mis mis mispronunciations, but uh, it should be enough to walk us through this process. If you do need help in the process, you can reach out to the green team. They are very, very responsive here. Uh, if you click on the uh, the Ezra button, Shala Azor, um, it says that they're available 24 hours a day, um, and uh, they are available in writing. For, uh, sorry, yeah, they respond like through messages from uh, between 10 and 6. I'm actually recording this video on uh, Yom Atzmaut, um, a bizarre Yom Atzmaut when the whole country shut down. <coughs> but um, in general, you can uh, you can use this uh, Zendesk form here. Um, I'm not going to get into using support. Let's just go through the process of setting up our business here. So Suk Esek is uh, is a first drop down here. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Um, you have Osek Musha, Osek Patur, Chevrat Bam, Amota Shutafo. So I'm not going to get into partnerships or Amotot, which are NGOs. I'm just going to go to the first. Uh, First option, the demo here is going to be for an OSEC Patur. OSEC Patur is a VAT exempt um, business, as I explained, or maybe that was a previous take. OSEC Patur is the most basic freelance unit. It means that you're exempt from uh, from paying tax. Uh, I'm not going to give the technical information because it could change uh, in the near future. It's currently at about 100,000 shekels a year, about. In other words, if you make less, than 100,000 shekels per year, uh, you can ha you can run an OSEC Patur, and that means that you do not charge VAT on your invoices. And uh, by you do not charge VAT, it means you cannot charge VAT, and conversely, you can't claim back your VAT. Uh, VAT, value added tax, 17%. Um, so I'm going to go here with OSEC Patur. It's automatically brought in my uh, fake ID number. Um, I'm going to create a name uh, for my business here, uh, and you can see Shame Essek and Shame Essek Banglis. What will we say? Um, for it, let's just go for it. Daniel Rosehill. I have a typo here. Daniel Rosehill, Rosehill Iruim. Daniel Rosehill Events. Okay. Daniel Rosehill Events. Um, so you put in your business name in Hebrew, then in English, Ketovet Rechov Umispar and Yeshuv, and this is just where the um, business is uh, is located. Uh, so I'm going to go for I'm going to just say where the um, so that I'm not intruding on anyone's uh, privacy too much. I'm just going to go for Agripas Arba Yemachad. This is um, actually where the central post, one of the centrals. Central Post Office is in, is in Jerusalem, 41 on Agripas, Yerushalayim. If you're doing this, clearly you will put in your uh, your own details. So I put in my ID number. I've selected my business type as an Osek Patur. Um, I, I've put in my business name, and this should this needs to, needs to correspond exactly to what you have registered with Mas Nasa. That's the tax authority, and MAM, that's the uh, VAT authority, and Betuach Leomi. So you can't just come up with a random name. Um, if you change your name, which I did, I changed my uh, I changed the name of my Atzmai business after a year, and uh, Green Invoice can connect two accounts together. And I would actually say their support is really, really helpful. It is only in Hebrew, but they're really helpful. Um, here we go. So click on the button, and uh, hopefully, good things are going on. So, Mosifim logo vechatima. So basically, um, this is asking you for uh, your logo and for your uh, and for your signature, and you can actually do it uh, directly on the screen here. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly uh, come up with a logo, and uh, I will upload that in a second. Okay, so um, I've just created this logo in uh, GIMP, which is an open source image editor for Linux. Uh, so I'm gonna just quickly save this and then upload that into my green invoice. Okay, so I've just clicked on the upload button here, and you can see that it's uh, um, it's just parsed in the image, and uh, it's allowed me to crop it automatically as well. So you can just uh, you can do a bit of cropping here to get it down or up as you wish. Go a bit tighter on the crop. Um, I'm just gonna move it like this. 
it's got a little you can see the center uh, center cross marks there and Shmira is saving and that's gonna say that so I've got my um, I've got my logo there and uh, you can just capture a digital signature I'm just gonna do DR in uh, in cursive Hebrew um, and I'm also you have the nice ability so it's a very very cool system so I'm just gonna make that a bit smaller here and then click Shmira again now you can also upload an image file if you would prefer to do it a bit more you can see this is just done with the mouse and it doesn't look beautiful uh, but it uh, has done the trick so I've captured my business logo and my uh, signature there now I'm gonna click on the OK Afjar Liam Sheikh Liam Sheikh so this is basically just previewing for me what my invoice is gonna look like Khashboniska um, you can go for various color schemes so choose the uh, choose the thing you're most happy with I'm gonna go for for grey because uh, it's a uh, lockdown and it's a bit of a grey day so uh, so just say uh, when you're done when you've selected your one um, uh, just click uh, I you know I've made my selection and I'm uh, good to continue now you're gonna be now you're asked here for a tchum isuk um, and this is uh, a delightful graphic here of someone drinking a cocktail on a beach um, and this is asking you for uh, your business category and uh, Mitsua, uh, which is like a subdivision of that. Uh, the second question is How much time do you uh, have you been running this business? And uh, the two options are It's completely brand new, you're just starting, or Anikvar uh, Binyanim. Uh, like I'm already in progress um, so this is an event business so um, I'm just gonna go for I mean it doesn't matter really for the purpose of this uh, demo I'm just gonna look through and find find the best option okay so I've selected my uh, parent category and I've just gone for a hair which means other is my subcat um, this basically will uh, there are certain expense codes that if you're capturing expenses through this will be useful so you should go for the one that's as most accurate as possible um, but that should be close enough for this demo so I've gone for that and then I'm going to click on the CMT and this, shall f this will finish the uh, initial setup process so after clicking on that button I've been presenting been presented uh, with another screen saying saying we're ready to go and it's just basically uh, you have a little video you can watch here in Hebrew uh, with some tips um, and it's just asking you where you want to go from here. So lihagadrota uh, actually is to the to the uh, to the to the business settings, and lihagadata uh, mismachishon is issuing your first business. So I'm just going to jump to the um, um, settings page. Um, now let me just begin begin the tour the tour a little bit backwards, um, going from here. So this is just basically hagadro, but let's just go back to lobby. So in your lobby, um, you basically this is kind of your 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 heads up about your business activity. Um, you can see here um, it's got the the VAT rate, um, it's got the Bank of Israel rate, and it's got the it pulls in the official exchange rates too. Um, you've got some uh, helpful content here as well, and this is your count uh, at the bottom here. You can see Ms. Machim Buminui. This is created created me. Uh, I have 50 invoices uh, still to use. Um, uh, I'm on the this plan here and that basically as I create invoices and documents actually Ms. Machim means documents that this will go up uh, and count towards my limit and if I go above the limit I need to sign up for a higher tier um, so you can also edit uh, I generally go for this one Shana no Khit means the current year 2020 um, and this will show you now I haven't issued anything as soon as you begin issuing issuing receipts um, your uh, it'll display here so you know in January we're now in uh, we're now in April almost in almost in May um, and if I go in my real in my real green invoice I can see you know the cumulative to cumulative total of how much money I've made now this is useful that if you're approaching the uh, Osek Mursha cut off that it might be time to speak to an accountant so that's the benefit of having your overall uh, tally up there too now I've just jumped back to the Hagadrot uh, this is the this is up here um, this uh, area this is the main settings area that you have here 
So we saw that I added my logo, my signature, um, and you can just leaf through these. Prate Tikshorat is um, is where you have Ketovat uh, Banglit, Ketovat. So basically, it's worth creating, and this is just so that when you when you do issue stuff through English, that uh, that everything is uh, it'll draw down from the settings page. So you can see Ketovat was a gri was uh, Agripas Arba'im Vechad. This says Ketovat Banglit, so you can just type in Agripas Forty One. Yishuv is Yerushalayim, Mikud, and this is just your own details. It's important to fill these out because um, this will uh, populate uh, into your default uh, templates, right? Um, so I'm just going to get the uh, postcode um, for uh, for that uh, for that address over there. And if you don't know how to do that, I may as well make this a complete run through of useful things you can do. This, the door used for AL, the Israel Post website has a useful little utility uh, for finding postcodes. Um, so I'm just going to bring that in. Um, that's my Mikud and uh, this would be your Niyad would be your mobile phone number. Oh, 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 oh. Telephone if you have a landline. Oh, 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 oh. Um, at the mail is your email address. Um, so uh, this doesn't need to actually correspond to the one on your system. Um, you might have a website. So I'm just going to say, oops. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So I'm just creating an email address. And at the internet uh, is your internet website. Um, and we already populated these during the uh, sign-up process. So I'm just going to update those. Cheshbonit um, Bank. Now, again, this is your bank information. Uh, this does go on to your invoices. Um, so this is where you would put uh, your all your bank information, starting with your bank code, the name of the beneficiary, um, the SNIF, uh, every bank in Israel has a code, um, a, sorting, a sorting number, a account number, um, and a Swift and an IBAN as well. Um, so I'm just going to put some chunk numbers into this and click on save and this will again appear on the invoice. Now just um, something to point out here uh, and that's this, that's that again in green invoice you have here Cheshbon Bank Lemismachim Ivrit and you have a corresponding entry here Cheshbon Bank Lemismachim Baanglit um, so uh, basically, the the this will this is if you're issuing in Hebrew, it'll draw from this where you only need the bank code and they'll know which bank. And if you're sending to international clients, um, oops, they will not know that system. So you'll you'll need to tell them uh, the bank. This is English, bank code uh, and the Shema Mutav in English. Um, and the IBAN. The IBAN is the crucial information. So I'm just going to again update this and click on save. The next screen in settings is Nihul Farim. Uh, now, if you are um, doing business with Israeli clients, uh, you probably already know that the um, the bureaucracy here is as famous. It lives up to its famous reputation and the number of Ishurim, which are confirmations, are commonly required. And two of these are here, Ishur Nihul Farim and Ishur Nihui Mas Bamakor. This is... Um, the confirmation of bookkeeping and this is uh, the confirmation of deduction of tax at source. Uh, so basically um, uh, you can ask Masach Nasa, the tax authority, to uh, deduct a certain uh, component of tax at source. You can null that, that means you can deduct zero. Um, you can deduct anything and that just means that uh, they will take uh, you know a, a percentage of tax at source uh, so that you don't need to go and uh, and pay it later. So that's based on your um, that's based on what tax bracket you fall into. Now I'm not going to go into that because I'm not I'm not an accountant. An accountant can t can explain these far better than I do. What I am here to explain is that uh, you can use this upload button and you can upload a um, PNG file um, and a PDF of. Uh, of your of your confirmation certificates and send these easily through the system uh, and you can also enter that enter that information here so if you are deducting tax at source then uh, you should update this area with your information the next field in settings that is useful to look at is a token kabola mismachim and this is default text that will uh, appear on uh, your in your uh, documentation issued through through green 
So the first one is Tat Katoret Biroshim Smach. So this is header content, um, and uh, this is uh, text Petachtit uh, Amismach. This is footer content. Um, Now, what you can do is apply um, this content to the various document types. We'll go through these uh, shortly. Uh, but just to give a quick rundown, Hatzat Mechir is a quote. Hazmana is an order. Teodat Mishloach is a shipping confirmation, dispatch notice. Teodat Chazara is a return, return uh, confirmation, Cheshponiska. And the common ones you're using really are Cheshponiska, which is an invoice. Kabbalah, uh, which is a receipt. Hatzat Mechir, which is a quote. And Hazmanat uh, Rechesh, which is a purchase order, or more commonly called the PO. Um, and then again, you have the corresponding information in English. Uh, so I actually should have uh, put that here, selected the document type, and click on Save. Now, the other um, important setting it's worth taking a look at before beginning to use the system is if you are uh, how to send and through what email address. So this is under. Uh, now, um, I used a Gmail address, so if you're not using a Gmail address, if you're using on your own domain um, and you want to input the SMTP server, it uh, it gives me that option. Now, I'm, this is the sandbox and this is not the uh, actual current green invoice uh, that's being used, uh, but I have the option of specifying if I want to send through my own SMTP or uh, through green, but uh, you can not get, as you saw, I added my, my business address, it gives you the option. So um, I'm just going to send through my Gmail here uh, because a lot of people use Gmail. Um, now you can choose how you want the default subject line to appear. Hashponiska number, Daniel Rosalie Ruim. And you're just going to go for that and change the color scheme. Uh, but this is where you select the, um, the sending email. There's a couple of important options under. Hoda'ot uh, ma'arechet uh, itchunim shishlechu lamail billing, and this is the uh, default address. Um, now you can see that when you issue a document, uh, what you want to get, so you'll get a blind copy uh, when you when you send your stuff out to your out to your clients, basically. So you can get you can choose to include the original form, uh, or you can. Uh, you know, and get the uh, get the PayPal as well. It basically, if you look in here, you can see which options you can set. Final screen in the options is Hanhalat Chashboniot, Shlichot Doach Achnasot Vahotzaot Lamel Beofen Automati. So this is sending out a uh, a report and uh, mail. If you didn't figure out, means email in uh, in Hebrew. Um, sending out uh, email reports automatically. So you can choose to get reports of Achnasot uh, income. Hotzaot expenses, uh, yom yom ashlicha on which day of the month, so the second, fifth, ninth of the month, mede chodesh or mede chodshaim, the sending frequency and uh, and uh, and the file type as well. So I'm not going to drill down too deep into all these features, but uh, under dochot you do have uh, the option to um send out these uh these dochot these uh reports um on an automatic basis another important feature here is uh mispur mismachim um now basically this is the starting number sequentially um that you're going to be starting with so basically don't do this after issuing it'll kind of mess things up but if you are starting from um another platform uh and you want to start from Invoice 200, so you can specify Hatzat Mechir, as I said before, is uh, um, invoice, Hazmana is order, Teutat Mishloach, etc., etc., etc. So if you've just issued invoice uh, 100 uh, for the year, uh, sorry, let's say you've just issued, issue, I, you've just issued invoice uh, Kabbalah 100, you can choose to start the sequence from uh, 100, 101, and the first will be 101, and so on and so forth. Um, and also let's just change also for the uh, the invoices to uh, you can just go like that zero zero one next page here um, is uh, I like I like the Hebrew they used here Hamarket Chanut his Damnuyot Le'asek Shalachem usually in uh, English platforms we would call this an integration library uh, and that's what Hamarket it always confuses me as if it's like a stock market these are uh, integrations, so I'm just going to run through some of the integrations. They are uh, they're quite 
they're they're quite quite good uh, i must say um but you can read here in the small print uh, in gray at the top uh, the terms and conditions so google drive for instance is uh, only available on the popular maslul uh, paypal is incredibly useful of course and it's available on the popular maslul etsy is there as well um, again i don't know what's actually new what's actually been already rolled out and this is as i said green invoices testing uh, internal testing system here wix um, and you can get a few credit card processors so these are kind of complicated they have added easter cart as well and it costs 39 shekels a month so i mean obviously if you're a uh, if you're a business doing point of sale stuff and high volumes then it's worth doing these i would say for the kind of small small time uh, if you excuse that put down freelancers including myself that i'm making this video for uh the google drive one is useful paypal is very very worth setting up if you're unpopular or above and uh pioneer is useful as well and if you have uh if you have paypal set up you'll be able to have a uh, pay online link uh included with your outgoing uh with your outgoing uh invoices i am unfortunately not able to to connect um <clears throat> to connect uh paypal uh on the sandbox environment but what i what i can show you is a real invoice i issued uh, blurring out my client uh, this is the the email they get once you've integrated PayPal and you just sign in and uh, follow the instructions basically and uh, they get a little pay online button and that pay online button uh, will link through to PayPal uh, pre-populated with the uh, with the invoice information once they do pay a receipt will be automatically generated on the back end and will send to your client so it's a really nice integration uh, of course paypal do take a fee uh, but to give people the facility to pay online i think it's uh, it's more than worth uh, taking that small hit next step on the process of setting up your green invoice uh, is really to register a customer so uh, if you just look at the top here lobby is the dashboard Ms. machim is your uh, forms Hutsa Ot is where you can record your expenses. Um, uh, Lokhot is your customers. Sapakim are your suppliers. Mikhirot are the things you're selling. Dochot, uh, your inventory. Dochot is, is, are the reports. Hagidrot is uh, settings. And as he said, Hamarket is actually an integrations library. Uh, so let's go to Lokhot here and let us uh, create a uh, customer. Um, so I'm just going to create a uh, a uh, customer over here again. Uh, again, this is uh, for demonstration demonstration purposes. Um, I'm going to say that my customer is called uh, Daniel Rosehill. I'm going to do it myself as opposed to my name. Um, I'm just going to actually try Daniel Rosehill demo at Gmail. Your email address will go here. Um, now, something a cool tip. Uh, well. A tip I recommend if you're using G Suite is creating uh, is creating groups for your customers, and if you create a group for your customers like um, Rosal account at DanielRosal.com for for instance, your uh, um, your G Suite the user will be in that group. It takes a little bit of work to set up, but I can do a separate video. Uh, but that means you'll automatically get BCC as such on all outgoing. Uh, um, billing just to make sure that the the system is working perfectly and i think it's worth having that insurance um but yeah let's uh let's see if the system will take will take the actual uh user email if it doesn't remember you can add multiple emails here so if you have two points of contact it'll send we'll we'll go through that uh when we actually send a, a demonstration so this is where you can um select the payment schedule uh for this customer um so this means how many days you have to pay their invoice and the system will use it to calculate a default due date so um this is basically net 30 uh net 45 net 60 net 75 etc etc and me at d is uh, pay on receipt so let's go for that um if your business is in israel they will have an a, an id number so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna uh, create a new one from my trusty uh, fake ID generator here. Generate nice looking fake ID. Hope this doesn't really belong to anybody. Um, Katovet, <coughs> these people could be my neighbors at, at uh, Agripas number 42. Uh, they're also in Yerushalayim. Um, let's just take that same uh, zip code as we used before. 
No, Medina is uh, is where they are. So this is obviously in uh, in Israel, um, but uh, you can choose any country. So make sure you put where your where your customer is located. Tchum uh, Shirut is what they do. Mutzoa uh, again as before. Uh, nothing here really important. You can add tags here. Tagiot. Uh, so I've now created a customer here, and if you go onto Lokhot and uh, click on Call a Lokhot, this is your list of customers. You're able to search here by, uh, you know, if you, the, obviously, the longer you're freelancing, you'll develop quite a list of customers, hopefully. Um, and you can search through that list by using this search button. So this is just my customer, Daniel Rothil. Um, and you can also uh, quickly uh, generate documentation for him or her. Um, and you can actually get it. You can quickly, these are just shortcuts that you can use to quickly uh, create a report uh, for or you can edit them so if you screwed up on um, the general information um, about the customer notes uh, this is more detailed than what we had before you can fix it at any time you can change where they are um, Prate to cure it is good if you want to annotate this to the invoice so I'd actually suggest doing this too O five O one two three four five six seven we'll give them a phone number shame each each Kesha would be um, Right, so you can add this to the uh, to the account record. Cheshbonio to Prate Prate Bank. Uh, you can add their bank details as well, um, and you can also save credit cards. Josefet Cartis Ashray Lelokoach. So this requ this requires the integration, but um, and it, you need to be on a uh, certain plan uh, of of one one of their Maslulim to get this. Um, you can save customer rec uh, credit cards as well. Let's just go for a very simple operation here. Uh, let's create an invoice. Um, so just to say how we did that, you can also go into Mismachim, Hafkadat Mismachim, which means Hafkat uh, Mismachadash, issue a new um, document. And the document you want is going to be, um, let's go through the whole process, why not? And I'll show you how to create one from the other. Hatzat uh, Mechir is a quotation. So, Tariq Amismach is uh, the date, so we're going to make it today. Matbea uh, is currency. Now, I want to just show you a couple of currencies in Hebrew because of the fact that uh, the acronyms are confusing. I'll just, I'll just run through the common ones. Shekel is obviously the new Israeli shekel. Dollar is dollar. Unqualified always means United States dollar. There's actually many dollar currencies in the world. Euro is here. Now, this weird guy... Licht is uh, pound sterling, so uh, just be aware of that uh, that is pound sterling there. Um, mm, 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 the Japanese yen, Swiss franc, Euro Sini, sorry, um, Chinese uh, yen, dollar Australia, Australian dollar, dollar Canada, uh, etc. But just the weird, the weird one that always throws me for, and I do sometimes issue invoices in pound sterling is this guy. Uh, so let's just do shackles and here is this is very 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 important this fa safa is obviously language and this will determine uh, whether the system generates and if you go in English just remember it's going to pull all the English fields out of the back end so make sure everything is nicely populated before you go and issue stuff in English that doesn't have English stuff so I'm going to make this an English invoice uh, as this is an English tutorial um, you can actually directly create a customer at this stage, uh, but it's, we, we already did that. So uh, simply clicking once, usually I would search for my customers like this, but as there's only one in the system, we can just issue it to Mr. Daniel Rosil, uh, and it's already pulled in the email. Now, if you want to send this uh, price quotation to an additional address, you can simply type it in like that and click save. And now this will also this will also send to demo at danielroso.co.il. Um, you can add um, a narrative here. So I'm just going to say uh, quote, because we said this is an events company, right? Quotation for preparatory work for Shlomo and uh, Rivki's wedding. Beautiful. Now this is where you get to. This is where you denominate the uh, the invoice. Now it's automatically because I'm in Osak Patur, 
uh, it's automatically coming up as this is otherwise where the mem would go. You do have the button here to uh, to round amounts, um, and you have the add to uh, you have the option to add stuff from your inventory. So basically, um, under uh, wrote you can create a list if you're selling something on a recurrent basis, such as um, I don't know, you, there's a fixed cost for red carpet rental. Um, so let's just save that and uh, it's been saved in the system and we can go into Mihiro tier uh, and we can go into Preteam and we can just create one Josefet uh, Now what I'm entering here is something into our inventory um, and give, assessing it a price. Now I'm going to write this in, uh, in English and I'm going to just make sure I'm left to right. Red carpet rental hourly um, this is a description I'm going to just Standard red carpet for weddings and other events. Uh, left to right, and I'm going to say it's, I don't know, 50 shekels per hour for the red carpet. Shmira. Now, if I go back to my invoice in progress here, and uh, this one here, the second one, uh, I might get the vowels right, wrong, wrong here, but uh, this is uh, drafts, uh, uh, and you can also see which time period to show and which uh, document type. So I can keep working on my quote uh, to myself for uh, Rivki and Shlomo's wedding, pr preparatory work for Shlomo and Rivki's wedding. What I can do now here is um, I can choose um, to import the red carpet uh, rental hourly and I just need to click on uh, Bechira. So now it's populated automatically 50 shackles hourly and I'm going to say they rented it for three hours. And now that's 150 shekels, 50 times three. Uh, you can also, Hanacha means discount. You can also give them a discount on the whole invoice, but let's, let's just not do that for the moment. Um, let us then just say uh, consultation fee hourly, con uh, consultation fee at 150 shekels per hour for three hours, that would be 450. And add that to the invoice. Now, um, I, sorry, I did 450 shekels an hour. I did three times 450, let's just leave, leave that as. Um, so now I've denominated my invoice, I can use this button to um, give them a discount. Let's just say that um, Shlomo and, uh, now you can apply a percentage um, or you can uh, mark it down by a fixed amount. Uh, I'm actually struggling, struggling here to do this. Ah, sorry, you need to click here. So I can give them a 10% discount. Uh, you can see that knocks it down to 1350, or I can uh, deduct uh, 200 shekels flat. So let's say Shlomo and Rivki negotiated, as people do, they uh, haggled, and they negotiated 200 shekels off the invoice. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna quote them 1300. Now, in this section, you can uh, write notes, um, token. Uh, this will overwrite um, script here, and we'll just, this is uh, Ptachtit is the bottom and Tochen Anosaf uh, mail. This is important. This is stuff uh, you can include in the mail, in the email to the customer. You can even write them a list of message. Hi, Shlom, Shlomo and Rivki. I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. Uh, it was a pleasure to meet you both today and uh, to be considered to help plan your wedding. Please find and close a quotation for my initial consultation and red carpet rental for the photo shoot. I don't know how I, I come up with these things. Uh, so I'm just, this is going to go in the email um, and this is going to go in the, uh, this is going to go in the body of the document. I'm going to say, quote valid for 14 business days only. And now what I will do is if I go on, uh, if I, if I click on Shmira, uh, it'll save the draft and Hafkadat will issue it. Um, so you can, something, what I do in practice is I issue most of my invoices monthly and I will keep drafts for my customers in uh, saved, uh, saved in drafts for the duration of the month. I'll keep, I'll itemize them throughout the month and at the end of the month I do my invoicing all in one day on the usually the 31st the, whatever the last business day of the month is and then I will uh, issue them uh, collectively um, 
but let's go for this. Uh, so I'm going to click on Ishur uh, Afkadat Mismach. It's just asking you to confirm. And there we go. The uh, price quotation is being issued. I'm just going to wait for wait for a second uh, for this to be received on my side over here. Now I've just received my uh, my carbon copy here. Uh, you can tell because it's coming from Green Invoice to me. Uh, I have my logo here, and you can see my message to Shlomo and Rivki uh, is there. And if they click on this button, they'll be able to uh, to download the uh, the quotation. Now because we selected English, this is the actual one that's gone to the customer, and I have simply received a BCC. It's a little bit cleaner. Um, it does come from Green Invoice. Um, but the reply to is uh, is set at my address. So if they clicked on the reply button in Gmail, uh, it would uh, it would go to me and not to Green Invoice. So there's no worries there, and it's come in English. So instead of if this was in Hebrew, it said Hatzat Mechir. It says price quotation uh, and download. So I'm just going to show you now the actual file that we've generated. This is the actual PDF that was attached to that email, um, and we can see here basically it's got my. Uh, it's got my uh, information here, and it's just overwritten that it's a demo account. Um, it's got my uh, the receipt, my the sender's tax ID on the right hand side, and uh, it's got the customer's information here, and it has all the information, etc. And the footer content populated here into the bottom. Now this is really the majority of uh, what you can do in the system, but you can also do a little bit of. Um, a little bit more. If you click on this button, uh, you will be able to get the original uh, original uh, copy here, and I'll just show you what that looks like too. So the original is always in Hebrew, so you can see that this is the Hatz uh, Hatz uh, in Hebrew, um, and the what this button here, Horadat Ha'atak Ne'aman Makor, is the English copy. And again, ex excuse my terrible um, my terrible Hebrew over here. And this is has got the en at the end of it, uh, the file type. So that's how you know that you're getting the the English copy. You additionally have the option to uh, share this directly in Telegram. Uh, it's got an in integration if you uh, and WhatsApp. And if you have enabled the Google Drive uh, integration, um, then you will be able to um, to save it automatically to your drive. Now. Um, We've just quoted Shlomo and Rivki 1300 shackles. So the next thing we would do is they say, that sounds great. Um, can you send us an invoice? So uh, you have, if you click, if you go into Miss Machim, you can also go into Lokhot and uh, open up the account. Um, and then you can see the full list of Miss Machim pertaining to that account. Uh, or what you can do is go into Miss Machim and see all your customers' documentation. And trust me, this will get busy the longer you use a program, hopefully. Um, so what I can do here is click on the Hatzat Mechir, the price quotation, and uh, click on the Cheshbon Iska button, um, and that will uh, create a corresponding uh, quotation uh, with all the details pre-populated. So we have the red carpet, and we have the consultation fee, and whatnot. Um, now, some important things. Tarikh um, Mismach is the date. So we're going to issue on today's date. Very important, very, very important. Let Tashlum add the payment date until. Now, we said that our default is net 30, um, and that's automatically said 31st of May. But let's say we want to give them only less time than that to pay their invoice, so it's going to be due on the 9th, okay? Uh, shekel is a currency, and Gleet here, the details are as before, and as he said, you can also send another copy to um, to anybody else. So if, if someone else at your account says, could you, keep, could you send me a copy too? You can say, no problem. Uh, just add as many email addresses as you need here. Um, now, if you have these issued, if you have these, uh, if you have these configured, uh, credit card payment and uh, PayPal, you are able to um, uh, configure the maximum allowable number of Tashlumim uh, that you allow your customers to, to go with. Now, my integrations are not connected here, uh, but they, they usually do appear and you've also got a checkbox. Um, and that's it. And the same process as before. We're going to save this and now we're going to issue um, our first uh, quotation. 
And re I'm not going to go into the form again as before, but the exact same thing except in the, in the, in the subject field, you get quotation for proprietary work uh, and download file and it's the same. Now we have uh, issued a quotation, uh, we have issued an invoice and um, now we're waiting on the customer to pay. So here is invoice number one. Um, and uh, now let's say if if um, the customer uh, pays their invoice. Now there's two two ways. Firstly, this if you have an integration with PayPal or a credit card processing gateway, um, uh, this can all occur completely automatically, uh, or you can do it manually. So if you're if you're not doing that, um, if your customers are paying you, um, you know through uh, a bank transfer or through check or through cash uh, you know or through really any other way um, in which you do not want to uh, it's not going to be done automatically then uh, you need to to do it like this um, so let's see how it works again so the date of the invoice of the receipt is uh, this is when you issue it okay not the date the money was received um, now, um, uh, this is the details of how you received the money, and even if you if you did get it through PayPal, you can actually uh, create, you can actually record that it record as a PayPal transaction, uh, even if it wasn't, uh, you know, automatically done through an integration. Um, the important thing is, you want to record the day the money was received on, and that might be, you might have got it yesterday, and issued an invoice, a receipt, today. Um, and this is the sender's the the bank information here. And assuming they paid in full, um, you can just save that amount. Uh, so you have here check, bank transfer, credit card, uh, payment app like Bit, PayPal, Mizuman, such as cash. Um, uh, something else. This includes Acher. Can include actually Bitcoin, or um, uh, you can update the amount as well. Um, so let's just go for uh, Mizuman. Let's say they paid in cash, um, 1,300 shackles. Um, and as before, so you're now going to basically issue this um, receipt, save the draft if you need to come back to it, and then issue the receipt. Jumping back to our invoice, uh, we have their customer will receive a receipt to their email with an option to download the PDF file. Um, additionally, you can download uh, the receipt from the back end from Green Invoice and you can send that manually in an email or in, include that in a WhatsApp. You don't need to use the integrations. Uh, and of course, it's also, I download all my receipts um, and put them, into a, in, put them into a folder so that when my accountant prepares the annual return, all the receipts are there quickly. You can also give your accountant access to Green Invoice. They are stored there, but I think it's safer for just for backup and data purposes, uh, you know, to keep your to keep them in a separate uh, separate storage repository. So we've gone through the process of setting up on Green Invoice. We've gone through the process of registering a customer, registering a um, registering an item. Um, we've gone through issuing an invoice. Now I'm just going to show you quickly how to capture a a uh, a, a expense. Sorry. So if you go on to uh, Hotsaot, um, this is Rishin Mat uh, a list of expenses. Now you can capture your uh, your expenses here. Um, you're going to go through the same uh, initial questionnaire here as well. Um, which is going to try to help you to make the correct deductions. Now, what I'm doing is um, asking how many rooms in the house. Uh, yes, let's just go for no. Um, I'm with no workers. I'm just using this basically to capture stuff into a uh, repository in this platform so that my accountant can download the PDFs. I'm not actually using it to calculate, but basically it's a good practice to put all your uh, receipts up here. Uh, sorry, yeah, your receipts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my own receipt as an expense um, because it's sitting there on my desktop, but obviously the, what you would be doing would be putting in um, you know, deductible receipts, uh, deductible for tax purposes. So if, you've, uh, if you're like me, you're an online, writer and you've just paid for like I just did for upgraded web hosting you would you could put your uh, a PDF from your web host receipt there and that would go into the system too 
Now on this screen, basically, I'm not going to actually run through the whole way through this process because it is quite self-explanatory. Um, this button is to upload the file. Um, you can create your wrist, your list of Sepakim of suppliers, um, or you can directly create a supplier through capturing a receipt. Uh, and basically, you then it'll then ask you for the amount <coughs> and for the VAT component. Uh, and I'll just show you how that works quickly. Okay, um, so now what we're gonna the final thing I'm going to look at here is Gibui uh, Mismachim, and Gibui means uh, backups, and I think this is another really good thing to do as well. Um, so you can basically just choose the uh, the dates uh, you're backing up between. So let's say I'm gonna go for every let's take the whole year from January 1st until today's date, and Suka Mismach is uh, what you want to be backed up. Uh, so I, I do this document by document. There's no option, unfortunately, for all docs. Uh, we can just take the Kabbalot, or we can just take the Chishmoni uh, This is actually a clever way if you're um, looking to send stuff to your accountant. Uh, you could actually put your accountant's email here, send them, you know, um, we can't, I can't show you December because it's only almost May, but you could literally go for the whole year. Kabbalot, um, all customers, uh, or you can just do one, but default is all, and uh, just send them the whole export file. So I'm just going to do this. There's only one. Um, there's only one issued, and uh, it's a pretty. It's a pretty quick process. The conclusion of the process is that you basically receive a uh, download file with a download link, um, and that download link will uh, be able to get you your uh, the a zip file uh, containing all the documents you've asked for. Um, I'm not going to actually show it. Um, so that's basically the main functionalities in terms of setting up on uh, Green Invoice, uh, creating all the basic things. Um, there's a course more you can do with it. You can create your, um, you can create, uh, you know, uh, integrations and allow people to pay by credit card. Those are kind of the fundamental functions I would say most people, uh, most people would need. Uh, you could, of course, if you are working with an accountant, you can capture your uh, expenses and record those completely externally throughout the system. Um, and additionally, um, you also don't need to do it through, you may not want to sign up to that plan of Green Invoice, but that basically should be enough to, to get you signed up. So thank you for checking this out. Uh, if you have any questions regarding any aspect of freelancing uh, or Green Invoice, I can try my best to answer, although really the people to speak to about Green Invoice or are the Green Invoice team themselves, they are very responsive. Um, but hope that was helpful for anybody looking to, uh, to set up as a freelancer during these current um, sort of unconventional times. Uh, and I highly recommend Green Invoice as a uh, very, very effective and capable platform. Thank you for watching and have a great day.